Right, different track now, back to the one that I started with. OK, now I showed you this already and I've got this um, drum beat and this long vocal sustain wave. That... Ah, so there's another bug. This vocal is cutting out and you know what that is? It's because previously I have flexed it and there are transient markers there but they're bloody invisible. Oh, this is another bug that happens sometimes bits of audio will just drop out for no reason and there are no visible transient markers there when I put the flex on and off right but to solve that I have to go back in then I've got to put this on and then I've got to detect transients all over again yes really delete manually edited transients but the point is it says really delete edited manual transients well where are they not this bit of the wave we're not working on that bit of the wave there aren't any I can quite clearly see there are no transient markers there, but sure enough, it thinks there are. They're hidden. They're they're invisible. So, really, delete manually edited transient markers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I've added them again from scratch. I can knock them out, all of them, by doing that until they've all disappeared. And now I should have a wave that actually bloody plays. So there's another. It's another little bug of some type, although. I am using the screen capture software, but it does it as well when I'm not using the screen capture. Oh, mother f Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Jesus bloody Christ and all the saints. Or have I got some track automation on I've forgotten about? No. And it's not part of a group? No. <sighs> the living name of f is happening. This is another bug. Oh yeah, let's just make all the audio cut out from this point for no apparent bleeding reason whatsoever. If I turn flex off for the region by selecting the region and deselecting flex, oh now what? Okay. But as soon as I put flex on for the region, even though there are no transient markers, it just cuts out at this point for no bloody reason whatsoever. Anyway, look, that's just another gripe. I'm sick and tired of this frigging program. Um, it, and I'm, what I'm sick and tired of is it does 90% of things brilliantly, but it's the half-ass way that the beta testers and the management have allowed these stupid things to to not be fully finished and I'm going to show you one reason why it's not fully finished now and that is oh you think when you see all this stuff you think oh brilliant uh, I'll put on flex yeah cha and yeah, I've got to put my whole flex on haven't I put your flex on right now you can see these transit markers and you think mm, great I can quantize that as we showed already so then it starts you thinking ah well I could do a if I could use, if I can quantize these transit markers, then I could quantize a long sustaining wave and do stutter effects. But then you realize something, transient markers cannot be put in on the grid out here. Only flex markers and flex markers can't be quantized. Some moron at Apple thought, no, actually that's unfair because as pointed out, if a flex marker is put in, you want it there specifically to manipulate something so you don't want it snapping to the quantize. Fair enough. All right, then, why didn't Apple make a way of putting in transient markers at 16th? They haven't. Not like so I can get a brush tool and draw across and it just puts them in at the, you know, the snap quantize. The only way you can put transient markers in is to manually put them in using the sample editor. So I'll do that now and show you what happens. There's me wave. I'll put snap on for that region. I'll just show you that this region is selected by coming out of the sample editor. Right, that region is selected. I'll put the I'll put the quantize on 16s. I don't know if it'll make a difference. Snap is on division, but there's no snap inside this box, of course. Okay, so now look, I'm going to start putting these in manually. That one didn't snap. Oh, and there's that bug. There's that bug. Look, you put in one transit marker, or maybe you're putting in a few. But this happens. Suddenly, all your bloody music disappears. And you think, Christ, everything's been deleted, but it hasn't actually. What it is, is you're inside a folder track. Look, leave a folder. But what's weird is 
you're not really in a folder track. I mean, everything's in the folder track. The drum track is there, the voiceover track is there, then the blank track, then the voiceover track again, the synth track, um, and a few others. But if I come out of this group, sorry, if I was in a group track, where's my frigging fo uh, in a folder track? Where's my folder track? I wasn't in a folder track. It's another bug. Let's see if we can do that again. So, oh, Jesus wept. So I go into this region, and this will probably happen again. But, again, even in this region, and regardless of that stupid bug, you cannot snap these transient markers properly to sixteenths. They will not snap. Okay, so you're only getting an approximation. You can fiddle with them, you can move them afterwards, but trust me, you zoom in and they're not really exactly on sixteenths. Now I'm going to put in a manual row of sixteenths because that's what I thought. I thought, oh, well, you know, unfortunately that's what I'll have to do. But when I've done it, I can then quantize this long sustained wave. Shut up, cat, to any Quantize I like make these wicked stutter effects. I thought well, I'll do that. Now I'll edit this so that afterwards you don't. I can fit this in ten minutes, but I'm going to draw these in sixteenths. As I say, some of them seem to snap in better than others, depending how much activity is going on in the wave underneath. Talk about fanny effing around. I mean. You know, why can't I just draw a bleeding row of these things in, or just tell... Anyway, like I said, whoever beta tests these things obviously just spends their time recording country and western or something, and using logic that's basically a multi-track. It just seems as though, when you look at some of these features and how half-assed they are, not just in logic, you sometimes think, does anybody who beta tests these make dance music or any sort of creative modern music okay so I thought to myself brilliant I've now got 16 transient markers across my region so theoretically I can now quantize it let's take the quantize off there's the light grey markers put the quantize on hit play and the other thing is when you've got a track in slice mode, there's a slice length which means you can adjust the length of those slices even though they're not chopped and I thought, oh my god I'm in heaven it took a long time to set up but at least it's achieved it and you can adjust the length to get very short stutters or very short or longer etc. So I thought, brilliant. And I thought, well, I can now just change the quantize. Well, watch. Put it into twelfths. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. All it does is it not... Oh, well, listen. It's still in sixteenths. It's just knocked out some of the markers. It hasn't bloody quantized it to twelfths at all. Or eighths. Again, it just knocks out markers. But look, you can quite clearly see the those markers are still in there, but they're just not bold. So that doesn't work. And, it, and I thought, why? Why doesn't it work? I've put the transient markers in. In theory, what difference does it make if they're on an actual transient? They should quantize. It doesn't work. It doesn't bloody work. Can you believe it? And the best way to show it doesn't work is... Yeah, it'll work in 16, so it'll just snap those exactly to the divisions. But if I put it into 16 swing, they should slightly move. Well, it looks like they have, but listen to it. That has worked, but if I put it into anything lower than 16, it keeps playing the 16s in between, like eighths. Listen. In essence, it's still playing eights, right? So that doesn't work. So I'll show you how I did manage to do it next. <laughs> 